life was idyllic for a young girl and her pet until civilization discovered mighty Joe Young. Hey, Freeman, or did I see a gorilla? And a beautiful dame. A classic tale of terror and courage. Mighty Joe Young, Monday on AMC. This is Jasbo Collins. It's time to swing back with the Soundies on AMC. The year is 1946. Lana Turner sets the screen on fire in the drama The Postman Always Rings Twice. That same year, this Soundie was playing on the local panorama. It's Glenn Miller's Modern Airs with Paula Kelly singing Old Frenchie. movie classics and MCA Universal Home Video are proud to present America's favorite sweetheart, Deanna Durbin. Can you hear me? Deanna Durbin, the feisty, lovable troublemaker whose high spirits and velvet voice capture the hearts and souls of moviegoers everywhere. If I'd known this was going to happen, I'd have worn my Sunday dress. Now you can learn to love her all over again with this very special home video offer, the Deanna Durbin Collection. Featuring four of Deanna's greatest and most unforgettable movies. 100 Men and a Girl. Three smart girls grow up. Nice. He's sensational. Go. Oh. It started with Eve. And the film that made her an overnight sensation. Three smart girls. What do you mean Penny stays here? It's my idea. This limited edition Deanna Durbin collection is packaged in a beautiful display case and is available exclusively to AMC viewers for only $79.98 plus shipping, handling, and sales tax where applicable. Call 1-800-626-7777 now to order this unique collection. How about singing, Patsy? All right! Deanna was more than just a popular teenage star. She was also a world-renowned singer, and this extraordinary home video collection contains some of her most beloved classics. Someone, Someone to care for me. For me. 
raining sunbeams, and the unforgettable because. This beautifully packaged, one-of-a-kind home video collection is available to you now by calling 1-800-626-7777. Enjoy America's favorite sweetheart with a special limited edition Deanna Durbin collection. Call now. The legendary Betty Davis at her treacherous best. I killed him. You what? Gary Merrill is the man with the means to bring her down. You have absolutely no proof. Oh, but I have. I've got the gun. But she has the answer. Because one woman's drink is... Here's to a long one. Another man's poison. Sunday on AMC. Producer Joan Harrison was one of the few women who produced films in Hollywood back in the time of the 1940s. She had worked as a scriptwriter and a production assistant for her mentor, who was Alfred Hitchcock. And since he trusted her work, the studios figured, well, she must be pretty good. And she was, too. Now, the picture we're about to see would be her first solo producing credit. And she wanted every detail, particularly the casting, to be just absolutely right. And that's why she was so disappointed when she tested several leading actresses for the part, and she found that none of them seemed capable of doing what she really wanted. And then she talked to Ella Raines, and when she explained that this part was not really all that glamorous, Raines said exactly the right thing. She said she was first and foremost an actress and really didn't care how she looked on the screen. She got the part. Here are Fran Chaton and Ella Raines in one of the finest film noir mysteries, I think, of the 40s. It's called Phantom Lady. <laughs> ¶¶ 